Okay, guys, the third time. Oh, wait, hold on. Third time is a charm. Even my hair is falling flat. Ooh. <laughs> okay, guys, we are live. Okay, we just experienced a little bit of technical difficulties. But I promise, no, it's being sorted, all right? No, it's being sorted. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Fame Weekly Talk. Mishka Mate, that is my name. <laughs> this is like I'm doing this again, okay? We're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but I promise, no, it's been rectified. It's sorted out. Mm. Okay, guys, so Fame Weekly Talk, you know how this works, all right? Every week, we interview amazing individuals all across the spectrum of food, arts, music, and the environment, all right, about their contribution to the movement. And every week, we have a theme. Yes, and we're doing this first time on a Monday. We usually do this on a Sunday, but now it's the first time on a Monday. So Fame Mondays, 7 p.m., coming to you guys live from my collection, Barbados, right here on the south coast of Barbados, all right? So make sure that you guys also stop by, support local. Man, it's so many things in this store, and they're all made in Barbados, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to get this ring right here. This is a nice, really nice ring. It's red. It goes with my clothes. This is wonderful. Let's see how long this stays on my finger for. Okay, anyway, guys, so <laughs> I want to say hey to the entire Fame family crew, all right? Margit and Badu. Yes, Badran and Margit. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, are we ready to do this? Yes, we are. This week's theme, the sweet kind of love. The one that gives you diabetes? Nah, well, we don't know. We had to wait around and see. Hopefully not, okay? Good sweet. The sweet kind of love, all right? Uh, this week, representing food, we have, okay, the crew from Little Bits. We're going to be having a conversation with her, all right? Miriam Ramsami. She's going to be chatting with us. Representing art. Who do we have representing the art? Old Lay Love herself. Yes, we do. Maria Elena Rose. We're going to be chatting with her. Representing music, we have have hyper sounds like i said before congratulations man your song is number one that new song we're gonna talk about that for sure and representing the environment yes we have dr diane brathwaite all right yeah representing the barbados diabetes foundation we're gonna be talking to her yeah get some health tips man we're going to get to the bottom of this why is barbados an epicenter why we're gonna talk about that for sure all right but in the meantime make sure that you guys spread the word and tell a friend man let them come on over join the fame family join the fame movement man make sure that you guys also follow us on instagram all right fame festival underscore barbados okay thank you guys again so much for joining really do appreciate it do love it man mm -hmm. so our first speaker who do we have representing food representing food yes where are you a little bit she's gonna be having a conversation hi my darling where are you Miriam? where are you yeah Bye. Hi. hi my darling welcome to the fame family thank you for having me Welcome. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fine, thank you. A little hungry, but we'll eventually get past that, okay? <laughs> we'll be fine, alrighty? So, tell us, man, first of all, like I said before, welcome and congratulations again with the business. You know, thank making you. one in history, man. Oh, my God. Satisfying that sweet too for the Barbadian. Definitely. Yeah. I know. Well, very much appreciated for sure. So, tell us, man. Tell us. What do we need to know, man? <laughs> about the company. I know it's a dessert company that specializes in gourmet um, ice cream, you know. Yeah. So we're a startup and we are a dessert company. I'm one half of a dessert company. We do cakes and ice cream. We specialize in gourmet homemade ice cream. And we hope to branch out into more desserts as we continue to grow. And you guys launched back in 2019, January. Yeah, we launched. We officially launched in January 2019. Uh, we've been working on stuff before that, but our official launch date was January 2019. Wow. Okay. So, what's the background story? What made you decide to go into, you know, doing gourmet ice cream dessert? Like, you know, what inspired you? 
Well, we've always had a passion for food. Food is a huge thing in my family. I come from a big family and everyone cooks. Everyone's a good cook. So I grew up in the kitchen and I, I started my degree in something completely different, but it wasn't really my passion. I always had a passion for food, but I kept pushing it away because I thought the more traditional way was the way to go. And then the passion just wouldn't quiet down. So eventually I had to give it a try. And so far it's been good and I'm happy with the decision I made. And I hope I continue to grow in the industry. Wow, wonderful. We really, really hope that as well, for sure. And um, you're in business with your cousin? Yeah, my cousin and I decided to start this business. We were both in traditional jobs yeah. and it just wasn't for us. Our passion has always been food. So we decided to follow our passion and so that we never have to live with the what ifs, if, if we did it, if we didn't do it. So we took the leap of faith and we decided to do it. And hopefully it, it works out. It's been working out so far and, and we're really happy with our product. We think we created a really good product that we're both really proud of. And I hope that everyone can taste it and enjoy it. That's like the main thing when you come into this industry, you have a passion for food and you want people, you want to see people enjoy what, your creations. Yeah, for sure. I know. Cause I know when I look for me, I have a thing, right? If I'm eating any sort of food and I absolutely love it, I just start dancing. I'm like, Oh my God, this is so good. Right. <laughs> yeah. Once I'm dancing, you know, man, you've done a great job for sure. For sure. For sure. I want to know what made you, what, what, okay. So you explained to us why you decided to start going into this business. Um, but I want to know, what surprised you most about getting into this business? Well, I think everyone has this idea when you become an entrepreneur that you're going to, you're just going to make money. You're going to start something. You're going to do it. Like you just think like, you know, it's like a, it's like you, a lot of people think it's going to be easy, but it's a lot of hard work. If you are leaving your nine to five, cause you don't like it. Um, you have more hours being an entrepreneur, like you are working 24 seven because it's your business. So I think that was hard. And I think just, it's really hard to be an entrepreneur here because it doesn't feel like the, it's, it's a good space for us. Like it, it's really hard to get your business off the ground. Like there's a lot more help that you need that is just not out there. And I think my cousin and I, something that we're really passionate about is like helping young entrepreneurs because it's not an easy thing to do. Wow. Okay. I believe you. But how, how do you exactly go about doing that? Like helping the young entrepreneurs? Well, I believe that when you get to a certain level, it's, you have to give up, like you have to give back. You have to help the ones, the ones coming up. You have to help people get where you've been. Like you can't just like be selfish and be like, oh, I made it and you know. So we are part, we're registered with the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme and that helps us like reach out and talk to and, and mentor young entrepreneurs. And as we continue to grow, you know, things like um apprenticeship programs, that's stuff that we would want to be part of. Wow, pretty much helping others up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the always, you know, and again, for me, it's always such a, a gratifying feeling, you know what I mean? That you were able to, you know what? Let me just pass the knowledge on. Like you said, don't be selfish with it, right? Just yeah. Pass it on, man, for sure. Okay, so I want to know, you were in business with your cousin. How was that? Like working with family? You know this is always a bad idea? <laughs> yeah. You always hear, like, oh, don't work with family. But um, oh. I think you have to, like, know which family you're going into business with. And I think we're both just really relaxed people. Neither of us really take life too seriously. And I think it works because, and we also, we balance each other out a lot. So I think our partnership works, but I think we're getting into business with anyone. You always have to know who you're working with and if your personalities 
clash if they work together if you balance each other out because you need a balance i'd say i'm like more detail oriented and he's like the dreamer so we kind of like balance each other out to come to the middle uh-huh. so it's really good wow okay makes sense what's the name of your business partner russell williams russell williams it's so funny when i was reading the um the bio I have an aunt in Vincent. Her name is actually Russell Williams. I'm like, what is happening here? I'm like, okay, I see it. Okay, it's so Russell Williams. Hey, Russell, the job thus far, yes? He's staying in your cousin's good book. So, you know, that's a good thing. I want to <laughs> know, right, if you guys um, do like a, a vegan version, you know, of like if you wanted to get. We are currently working on more vegan flavors. We have just changed our stable, our, um, stabilizers and stuff to be more vegan because we want um we want we don't want to isolate anybody from our product yeah. because our whole idea was we wanted to create a local premium product we don't want everyone to associate premium products with foreign and like imported like we can create local premium products right here so but we don't want to isolate anybody so we are working on creating more vegan flavors and sorbets and stuff that everyone can enjoy. Yay, we got to get some ice cream. Okay, and what about like the diabetics? Do you have do you take, you know, cater for them as well? We are that's something we're working on because people have like messaged us about it and we are working on it but you know get in it is actually quite difficult to get the products that we need to create certain things and we would like to be keep ourselves as local as possible to to use local products as much as we can and it's a little difficult but we're hoping to like reach out to more vendors and farmers to find the products we need to create local product a, a really truly local product um makes sense as well. Uh I want to know what about what is so local about your product? Well, we work with we get a lot of our ingredients from like our f- fruits and our stuff from local vendors and then all our mixins and everything that we make is made in house. So we don't have like all these extra stuff like I believe okay, dessert is it's indulgent. It's not like, oh, I want to be healthy. I'm going to eat some ice cream. But wow. I don't believe that your ice cream should um have like a long list of ingredients in it. So our ingredients are quite simple and are mixed. The things we put into it, we make in-house and we don't add food coloring to it. Like we're trying to keep it as simple as possible but keeping it still delicious and premium. I want to know um, what kind of flavors you have. Like, what, what's that one flavor that when you taste it, like, oh my God, it's from Little Bits for sure. I our biggest one is our um, our s'mores. Everyone loves our s'mores ice cream. I guess because it's just something that's not really out there, and that's really our goal to create flavors that aren't out there. We are launching new flavors soon, and we we just always want to have things that are not really out there. We want to create really gourmet flavors, but things that people will enjoy. Okay, okay. So we check out for the s'mores, and then you know we can just put like some I don't know some um, cayenne pepper ice cream. What? No. Yes. We have we have shopped a lot of things. I create a lot of flavors. Sometimes they don't work and our taste testers have to yeah. go through them. But we plan on just creating new crazy flavors that people are like, what is this? But when they try it, they really enjoy it. Definitely. And when you're looking for someone to do like taste testing for the vegan ice cream, just give me a call. I'm more than happy to drop everything that I'm doing and just come to you and just pay it for the entire day, okay? I am... Definitely. For sure, I am doing that. I want to know, where can we find well? Before you ask that question, you do desserts as well. What kind of desserts do you do? We do cakes. We have a couple cakes. 
um, that we do and cheesecakes. We have like a really nice tiramisu cheesecake. It's really pretty and it's really delicious. We are, uh, as we continue to grow, we want to bring in new desserts that aren't really on the market. We want to just keep bringing in new things that people can enjoy. Like you get a little bit of luxury, but you're not breaking the bank and you're trying new things. That's like our goal. Nice. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. I'm really, I'm excited. This, this line of ice cream that's coming, man. Okay. Where can we find you? A physical shop? Currently, we are in Massey, in Warrens, Worthing, and Sunset Crest, as well as A1, Carlton, and Emerald City. Okay. And, well, we were in a couple boutique hotels, but with COVID, you know. But we're hoping to get back out there, and hopefully everyone will know a little bit soon. Wonderful. But before you go, though, if you could just put it, you know, in the comment section, the supermarket where we can find you. Because it's not if you have, like, a physical shop. You distribute to the supermarket, right? And, like, yeah. in the hotels. So just so we can find you, you know, say so if you just go in through the free section, you're like, oh, my God, a little bit. Yeah. You know, that kind of way. So we know exactly where to go to find you, for sure. And before you go, do you have any tips you want to give, um, again, for, the, for everyone that's listening, um, whether it's something health-wise or it's something, again, we can do it on ice cream at home. Is that a thing we can do? It's not as easy, is it? Pardon? To make your own ice cream at home. You think it's something we can try? Not really? You can try. There's a lot of stuff out there to try. You can try your nice creams and your vegan ice creams and stuff. It's, It's not hard. We worked really hard to create our flavors and our special base. But... Try, just try whatever you want. Like, never be afraid to try something. You never know how it turned out. That's how Little Bits was started. We, yeah. we just decided to create ice cream, and it was good. Oh, damn, it was good. For real, Mark, I talked about it all the time, though. I'm like, when you do the vegan version, I'm going to be talking about it all the time. I read a quote as well from your bio. It said, our story is an adventure about, love, about our love of food, facing fears, and taking risks. We had a dream, said a prayer, and took a leap of faith into the world of desserts. So I'm like, wow. Leap of faith. That's exactly what it is, right? It really was. Wonderful, man. I want to know, before you go again, just one more time, you can put it in the comment section where we can order, because you can pre-order as well, right? Is it possible for us to do that? Yes, you can. Okay, so again, in the in, in the comment section, let us know where we can pre-order again, where we can find you. You know, go and get some little bits of ice cream. I want to thank you so very much. Really do appreciate you having this time out to come and chat with us. We are just so very grateful. Mark is smiling. She's like, ice cream. I'm like, okay, calm down, man. It's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Thank you again, Mariam. All the best. Thank and you so much for having me are so very welcome. So we're going to be supporting guys. Remember, go out and get your little bit ice cream and support local, man. That's what we do here, for sure. And fame, again, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Yay! What? Listen, guys, so I've seen it before in the supermarket. Again, Margaret is the one that would nudge and be like, have you tried this? Man? She's like, no, Margaret, I haven't. She's like, it's so good. It's so creamy. It's so good. So we're taking Margaret's word for it, all right? Definitely. So again, guys, you know how this works. We're going to go save this video, and then we're going to be back, all right? We're going to be chatting with Miss Ole Love herself right here on Fame Weekly Talks.